Okay, here we're going to solve the system of equations 4x minus y equals 2 and negative 12x plus 3y equals negative 6. So I'm going to use elimination by addition. And the thing that I'm going to try to do is to eliminate the, the terms containing x. So I think, you know, if I just had a positive 12x uh, in my, as my first term in my first equation, well, then I could add, I would have 12x minus 12x. The terms involving x would cancel. So to make a 12x appear, what I can do to my first equation is I can simply multiply both sides by 3. Well, if I do that, I'll get 12x minus 3y equals 6. And then we have negative 12x plus 3y equals negative 6, just our original second equation. Notice if I add these two equations, I'll get 12x minus 12x, I'll get 0x. Negative 3y plus 3y is 0y, so we're left with 0 on the left side. On the right side, we have 6 minus 6, which is 0. And what this tells me is we have infinitely, we have infinitely many solutions. So if you actually want to write your solutions down to sort of give a, 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 a generic sort of form, people sometimes ask for this. What you can do is take any one of your two equations. I started with the 4x minus y equals 2. I started with my equation before we, you know, before we uh, multiplied everything out, 4x minus y equals 2. I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to subtract the 2 to the left side. I'm going to add y over. And now the idea is we can say, let's let x equal some constant k. Well, if we do that, then y is going to equal 4k minus 2. So we can say our solutions are of the form k comma 4k minus 2. So the idea, the idea is pick your favorite value for x and then do 4 times that number minus 2. That will give you the y value. And that's the way that you can actually find specific specific pairs of numbers that satisfy the original system of equations.